All right, today we're going to work on this 2010 Suburban. It has a service air ride suspension light, the Z55 package. Um, he just wants to delete them all together, so I'm going to go through and show you how to do the resistors. The rear shocks, the rear shocks were already replaced with just the manual air up with the Schrader valve on the bumper. He's going to have to do the front shocks soon to improve the ride, but we're just going to do a quick little demo, show you how to install the resistors. So, taking a little break. So I'm taking a little break from working on the C10. We'll get back on that shortly. Got the frame over here. Body just sitting over here on a cart. So if you're interested in watching that, I'll be working on that build series frequently. So right now we're going to get busy working on this. So what we're after is this plug right here. And it goes right on top of the uh, strut. We're going to take it, cut it off and put a resistor in there on all four corners and that should get rid of that Z55 air suspension override. So by cutting this off, putting a resistor in there on all four corners, that'll get rid of that service uh, air ride light on the dash. So we're going to get started. I'm going to lift the vehicle up. This is the front passenger side. I think if I lift the vehicle up I can get it through the wheel well over here and do it a lot easier. So here's the resistor kit. I got these on eBay for, I think it was 30 bucks for a two pair. So I can do front and rear. It comes with uh, heat shrink tubing already on it. This thing's heat shrunk and then some zip ties so you can zip tie the harness up out of the way. So pretty simple. It's going to be a really quick fix. I disconnected the battery and I removed that uh, fuse that it says to remove in the instructions. So we're just going to pop off this plastic cover here. Pull back the wire loom a little bit. We're just going to cut the pigtail off. Strip the wires back a little bit. I got these Klein ratcheting crimpers if you don't have them and you're missing out. Now we'll just do a little shrinking. I'm going to go a step further and wrap it in some electrical tape. Again, if you're going to do this, use a good quality electrical tape that'll hold for a while and just won't dry up and fall off. I always use the uh, 3M Super 33 tape. I'm going to wait to zip tie it until I lower it and I can see exactly what I'm zip tying it to. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and then I'll show you the back. So we're at the rear of the vehicle now and this one already had a bypass air shock installed. So the factory plug and airline fitting is just hanging right there. And on the back by the license plate they just have a Schrader valve and they can adjust their air ride and height and everything in the back that way. But the same process as before. I'm going to cut that pigtail off and splice in the resistor. I don't think you need to watch it again so I'm going to hurry up and do it. So we're in the fuse box. I replaced this 30 amp fuse and this 30 amp uh, mega fuse is missing and that's for the air ride right there. So one of the things I read said don't remove that. Someone who previously worked on it must have removed it so if it does come back on I'll put that fuse back in and see. As you can see down there I have the resistor zip tied up to this harness right here. It won't hit the exhaust or anything. It's good. The other one, all the other ones are zip tied up. So fingers crossed that this is going to work. So we're going to go for a little ride, take it out, test it. Hopefully that service air ride light's finally off. He's had it on for probably a couple years since he's owned the vehicle. The previous owners did the uh, rear shock upgrade. He's going to have to redo the fronts because there's still the air ride control. He'll have to put better shocks in there that aren't air ride. All the fuses are back in. Missing the 30 amp air ride fuse, but we'll uh, replace that if that light comes back on. That could create an issue. Other than that, we're going to go test it out. I forgot to film the outro while the truck was still in the barn, but I just wanted to let you know that this did fix the issue. Um, it's been a couple days now. He's been driving it. Light did not come back on, so satisfied with that repair. Only $30 invested. Worked great. Also, if you're interested in seeing some more of the C10, that's uh, I put videos up on that quite frequently. Got a few already. So please hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell. I'm going to do videos a couple times a week, I hope. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.